This is the video diary for Friday, June 15th. Uh, we finished the dig on that day with uh, basically finishing uh, the excavation of the floor in space 158, the, the white floor that goes from the center, roughly center of the space, right immediately abutting the, the big oven, feature 606. So from that point south, and we can see that that the entire floor was what, uh, plastered white. And on it, uh, we have, in addition to the oven, we have this little feature that we have mentioned earlier. And uh, probably in an earlier phase, a, a, round, a round feature right here that was sealed with clay. And that's why we have this um, uneven surface here and a little dip in that area. So we are going to uh, do the, the just the final touches of cleaning of this whole area and then we'll do photography and drawing and sampling and then go further immediately. Now we uh, connected to that is this whole area of platform uh, 169 and the feature, the post retrieval pit uh, 624, which we started refreshing to see how the floors that we see in 158 now much better than we could see them last year connect with the floors in space 86. And so here we are beginning to understand that this, this floor is probably the same as the floor which we can see down in space 158, the major floor below the one that we had at the, had at the moment. So then basically we began digging our threshold, removing our threshold between the central house area and the kitchen area and we'll follow the small layers up uh, to the top of this platform and then down here in the kitchen area we'll follow them but it, it's going to, that is going to be much more difficult of course. Now in the kitchen area we have uh, also started digging some uh, feet, cut features which we don't completely understand yet. Uh, these are the, the features such as this large one and then small and shallow one and then again a medium sized one and we can see that there are more of them. Last year these were um, dug and uh, we thought that they are, uh, they are associated with the entrance into the, into the house and the uh, uh, ladder that was there. But now we see that these other uh, cuts are uh, actually more associated with work, other works in the kitchen, such as ovens and cooking and so forth. They were all filled with very, very rich organic deposits, charcoal, ash, uh, lots of remains. So we'll see what the flotation will uh, tell us about that. And then we have one thing that is noticeable at this point in the kitchen, it wasn't last year, is that uh, this whole edge of uh, um, the platform 169 is packed with, the, at least the edge is packed with a, a mixture of deposits that actually come from the kitchen, all these burnt deposits. So we have this very similar or the same deposits in here as we are finding elsewhere on the floor in the kitchen. Now we obviously, these ash areas show that we'll have a lot of um, break out in that we are coming onto it, so that will be very carefully excavated. And the next thing that we started doing is removing the top uh, plaster layer of the C phase of the floor on platform 170. And um, and uh, what is noticeable is that the southern half of that platform has the uh, floor which is much softer and made of slightly different material or has um, stayed soft. Uh, but the, in the northern part of the platform, the same floor is much harder and much more difficult to scrape. It comes off, feels off as chunks rather than uh, nice uh, Layer. You mentioned there's a suspicious break in the plaster. There is a suspicious break in the plaster here. There are roundish lines here, uh, which could indicate a burial, but it doesn't seem convincing yet. And, um, and there is this bulge up here, 
So there is, there is a possibility that we have a burial in this southern part because of these different clusters, but God knows. And then we continued working in the uh, multiple burial in platform 162, and um, Lori and Basha have been removing the bones of eight, one skeleton, please. Eight, one, one, three. One skeleton. Uh, eight, one, one, three. Eight, one, one, two, three unit number. And today they'll continue doing the same. We did a photography and, and then removal of some of the bones, and then a photography again so that we can uh, document that the layer of the bones that were caught in between the two skeletons and were not completely visible in the first photography of the whole burial. Um, I think that's it in terms of reporting. Did I miss anything? Um, no, I didn't. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, another little feature. It's the uh, step platform 167 that we began excavating as well. And maybe, Jason, if you come to here, I'll point to some things here. Um, so we started with removing the top layer, and even though this was uh, all on the same level before and looked as though it was one solid platform originally, the excavation of it showed that it consisted of two halves, one of which was this part that was terribly damaged and eroded, and the other one was this part of the oven, which was like a basin-like uh, at first uh, surface platform or something. And then later on it was packed heavily in some instances, even though it, was, it grew slowly by adding uh, the floors, but at some point, at this point, it was packed heavily with, uh, uh, with thick layer of packing and then with another floor. And then it was smoothened up on the surface and it, it was made even on the whole, this whole surface. So we'll go down to this level and this would be our C, if not the last uh, phase of D, I'll know that by the end of this day. That's it, thank you. <laughs>